Welcome to Speech to Text Tutorial. Hi, this is Speech to Text Tutorial, and we are going to be working using C Sharp. Now let's go to C Sharp and start new project. Click on Reset. And exit out. Exit out of the system. Okay, guys, as you can see, that's a C sharp speech to text tutorial. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start by clicking on new project and let's start all over. So, let's click on create new project and I'm going to select create. Select C sharp, click on next. Let's give the project a name. I'm going to call it CS underscore speech. underscore to text let's put a p there and click on create okay now our development environment is ready i'm just going to drag my form that much the choices here is how wide you would like your form to be then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here let's grab a plane just dump it right there and change the border style of that plane to fix single hold on to your control click and drag to copy this paste it right there and just drag it down brilliant yeah that's good enough and i will grab hold of a button dump a button right here that's good enough now let's grab hold of a rich text box right here just dump it there brilliant okay so the rich text box i'm gonna call that rt rt b speech there we go and the button that is going to be known as btn speech and i also need a label right here and that very label let's change the font size and we might as well grab hold of the whole component and change their font size as well. I'm gonna make that about 48. That might be too much for my speech to text, but I'm gonna change that. Let's come back to the speech to text and just change that to something a little bit more friendly. Change the rich text box to 40. There. And this button here, let's change the details on this button to reset. And the name, the variable name. I'm gonna change the variable name to oh, BTN speech. Okay, I'm gonna change that to BTN resets as the official name. Okay, that's that done. This label, let's change that to speech to text tutorial. That's good enough. Now double click. Oh, before we double click, let's go straight into our project here. Click on that project and let's look for add reference. Inside this add reference dialog, type in here speech to locate the library for us. That's library. Make sure it's checked. Click on OK. There we go. Now that we've added that, double click on your form and let's go straight to import as follows. And right here we are import the following library so that's going to be the system dot speech so let me copy this as using system dot speech there we go that is it right there double click on that dot recognition enter semicolon and that is that taken care of now the next thing i'm going to do is 
to write underneath initialize component i'm going to create my own very function for my speech so grab hold of that paste that in there and i'm going to call that function speech or well, let's say capture speech there we go and in there i'm going to enter object sender let's grab all of this paste that right in there object sender and that is going to be the speech recognition events argument speech recognition event argument yeah i think that's it and i'm going to make that e speech recognized event argument yeah so come right down here and enter our statement block now in here what we want to do is rt speech does it reach text box dot text let's say add the following plus e dot result dot text and we say plus i just want to add uh, let's return to next line there we go so just in case if i have a lot of speech in there and that is that now because i want you to be able to read the system to be able to read directly from the system i'm going to put that inside my form load right inside the form load we're going to be using the speech recognition engine so let's say speech that is going to be the the object we're going to be using speech recognition engine that is good and that is going to be equals speech this is me making up my own instant instant now speech converter and that is oh it's going to be known as speech converter get rid of that equals new speech recognition engine accept that press enter now i have my own object there now the speech recognition the speech converter grab hold of that paste that right underneath here that is going to be dot set input and that is going to be the default audio device there okay make sure it's set to default audio device the next thing is i want to use the grammar dictionary we have grammar so let's just call it grammar that would be equals new dictionary new dictionary grammar accept that and we now need this very speech converter paste that in there speech converter dot load grammar accept that press enter now one speech converter dot speech recognize recognized plus equals new event handler i think that is it right there there we go and i'm now going to let's press enter go to the next line and in there there's going to be a parenthesis and that will be my function here capture speech let's put that right in there you see the error is gone i have to come down so that you guys can see all of the code now the next thing we want to do is then say our speech converter paste that right in there dot recognize asin and recognize mode the recognition mode that is going to be multiple i said dot multiple 
there we go guys we just finished creating a special recognition device so let's run that and see i'm gonna save it first run and let's just see what's gonna happen hello whoa <laughs> chocolate and milkshake mm. that's not too bad black coffee please sugar and milk milk and sugar salt and pepper check that out guys and that's how you create your own speech to text using c sharp let me show you guys the lines of codes again then i'll call it the end of this project those are the lines of code just make sure your code is inside your form load and you also have to make sure you have these your function import your library and before then remember you must go straight in here go straight to the project select add reference type in speech in there and make sure it's checked and that's all you need to do those are the lines of code one more time i'm going to run it again thanks for watching guys and you all have a nice day bye for now yeah i need a black coffee black coffee please thank you